What's really good, Wastelanders? I'm futuristic. What with the current state of world affairs? I've found that I, like many of you, have spent a great deal of time indoors. And if you clicked on this video, you can probably guess where I've spent most of it. I've played Fallout 76 since the days of beta, and I've accumulated quite a bit of stuff. Most of it is hot garbage. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm from London, so you can all be my mates if you want. Yeah. So I will be saying beta instead of beta. And I'm also going to say aluminium instead of aluminium. Yes. I'm also going to mispronounce words and drop as many consonants as I can along the way. Good stuff. Once I'd amassed a stockpile of resources and an arsenal of legacy weapons, I decided to look elsewhere. Started to get bored. So I decided, with the help of a few friends, I put together this series of videos. Showcasing some of the best and the absolute worst of all the outfits that this absolutely fine and not buggy at all game has to offer. Honestly Todd, we absolutely love it. It works. I won't be featuring Atomic Shop items or any of the unlockables from Nuclear Winter. Nor will I be featuring Power Armor or Under Armor. I may however do these separately in a future video depending on how well this series does. All of the outfits and accessories that are featured in this series are currently available in game either as loot drops or through trade with other players but some can be much harder to acquire than others so along the way I'll try and do my very best to help you find them yourselves and if not Bam. I will also include timestamps to the various outfits and other data down below for those of you who like that sort of thing I'd also like to take the time to point out that Fallout 76 is a mature game and my content will reflect this so many apologies in advance this is the first in this series of videos, so if you love Fallout 76 and want to see more, you know what to do. So thank you for joining me fellow time travellers, and talk ain't cheap anymore. So let's get this dystopian fashion show underway shall we? Top of the shop and first out of the box we have the amusement park worker outfit, not to be confused with the Camden Park uniform, which we'll get to later. For this and the many other common items on this list, I'm going to suggest you get yourselves over to White Spring Resort, centre of the map. Once you're inside the resort, head downstairs to the shopping gallery. Pretty much all of the vendors down here sell accessories and clothing, so it's just a question of server hobbing to find what you need. Nurse, I'm going to need an Arcos lab coat, stat. This is in fact a random loot drop from the event Project Paradise. A public event which occasionally triggers at Arcos Farmer. Now you can take your chances with the event or try your luck at player vendors. Front and centre is the Army Fatigues and Army Helmet. The Army Fatigues are one of many outfits available from turning in technical data for the Brotherhood. Once you finish the Brotherhood storyline, you'll be able to turn in technical data to the Brotherhood themselves. The Army Helmet can be found in many headwear spawn locations, one of which I'll show you later in this video. Technical data can be delivered to the Brotherhood in one of two places. Firstly, you can deliver to a brick wall at Camp Venture. Or directly to Scribe Valdez at Fort Atlas. Now my favourite place by a country mile to farm technical data is the Enclave Bunker underneath White Springs. Included in this room here, which I like to call the War Room, you'll find many of the desks contain technical data as well as other useful scrap. Well, I say useful, I use the term loosely. Willow. There's never any guarantee you'll get what you want for farming technical data. I delivered 20 pieces trying to get army fatigue to this video and ended up borrowing the start of my sister. So good luck yourselves. Don't get gassed, get the assault gas mask. This is the first of the gas masks on our list and is quite common at White Springs. Target acquired is the assault on helmet. And whereas I know this is fully craftable in your armour workbench, I cannot remember where I got the plans from. So if someone would like to enlighten everyone else in the comments, I will refer back to my earlier statement of... It's 
time to get mental, it's the asylum worker outfits and hats. These can be found inside the asylum at Fort Defiance, and there are many good videos on how to farm them already, so I'll just list the colours instead. Blue Brown Forest Green The much coveted and very tradable pink and red. Both of these are quite rare and I've seen people trading up to and including their firstborn children on social media for these. So good luck. Weathered. White. White dirty. And my personal favourite, yellow. Because it matches my eyes. Batter up boys and girls. It's the baseball cap and baseball uniform. Both available at White Springs. You know that's not how you play that game, right, Haley? Don't drop the soap, it's the bathrobe. Originally, I was going to ask the friend to model this, but it seemed a bit creepy. This can also be found at White Springs. It took me a little while to dig this one out. This is the bad fedora, and it's quite common at White Springs. Casual couture with passion. I disagree with that. I look nothing like Indiana Jones. For those of you who like to be drunk and mobile, it's the beer hat. And if you really want bangs that smell like Budweiser, get your key store over to Gorge Junkyard. Now there is no dedicated spawn point unless you take the workshop itself, so I'll just show you from the bottom end facing the house. You turn right and run over to this dry riverbed find some party dudes who came a crop up and things went south and there is the beer hat. Not really a big fan of beer for obvious reasons. Saddle up is the black cowboy hat and the black prospector's hat. These can be found at many of the unmarked locations across the map. For instance, the Mad Hatter's Tea Party has two or three black cowboy hats. If you're unfamiliar with what the Mad Hatter's Tea Party is, it's a parody location. If you search Google, you can find all of the parody locations listed. Next up is Karen from McCountain, wearing the black rim glasses. These are the first of the eyewear on our list and are widely available at White Spring Resort. Next up is the Blood Eagle jacket and jeans which I'm sure is available as part of Beckett's storyline. However, if I am wrong, please feel free to correct me in the comments. What's cooking, Haley? Rad Roach? Yummy! It's the not-so-sanitary-looking Bloody Chef hat and outfit. It's the first of many outfits available from the event Graham's Meat Cook, but I don't have any b-roll of the event itself, so here's a picture of a kitten instead. If you're on a budget and can't afford a gas mask, get a bandana instead. They're all available at White Springs. This is obviously the blue bandana. Are you still up there, Haley? It's the blue batting helmet. And of course, no prizes for guessing where this is. Next up, we have the Blue Ridge Caravan outfit and gas mask. These are both quite rare drops from the event riding shotgun at Big Ben Tunnel East. This can be triggered by talking to Vinnie Costa outside the entrance to the tunnel. Get the bruising, son. These are definitely quite hard to obtain from the event itself and you will find them quite pricey in player vendors. Ad Victorian, it's the bomber jacket. This is another of the outfits only available through farming technical data. And as a wise man once said, probably the best place to find that is the Enclave Bunker under White Springs. Any news to share? Shut up, I didn't say you could speak. Next up, BOS Hood. For this and other uncommon headwear, the Ranger District Office is your next port of call. I'll always try and show you the fastest route from the fast travel point to your objective. The five spawn locations are here, 
behind the counter. Typical. Here, on the bench. Hello. Open. Oh, ow. Let's just do this. Two attacks. Third location is on top of that shelf. Location four is in this barn type thingy. And there you have it. The OS hood. Lovely. Ugh. And the final location is in this second barn type thingy. Now this location doesn't always pay off, as you can see, it did this time. At the Ranger District Office you'll also find other uncommon headwear spawns, such as the Army Helmet, the Medical Goggles and all of the Bandanas. Up next should be the BRS Jumpsuit, but I'm going to do all of the jumpsuits and certain masks in a feature in the next video. It's the turn of the Dynamic Duo, it's the bottle and cappy orange, and red jacket and jeans. Now these are another two outfits that I don't actually know the location of. And I actually had to borrow these for this video. So here's another picture of some kittens. Aww. Keep an eye on your money with these. It's the bottle cap sunglasses. That's right, your favourite and mine again. White Springs. Okay, strap yourself in for these two. It's the bowler and the bowler hat, or as I like to call them, how and why. I'll leave you all to wonder about the how and the why on this one. Needless to say, they're both available at White Springs. Not that that's saying much. Here they are, the Brotherhood Fatigues. Now I know I said I wasn't going to list Under Armour, but when I initially made this list, this was an outfit, not Under Armour. And the Brotherhood Lab Coat, complete with the most fetching socks in the game. Lovely. Both of these can be found at the first of the locations that I'm probably going to butcher the name of, Appalachian Antiques. That obviously left me speechless. Appalachian Antiques is the spawn for many rare outfits, so keep your eyes open. Time to get technical, it's the Brotherhood Scribe Outfit. The Brotherhood Scribe Outfit is another outfit you'll get from farming technical data, if you're lucky enough. Not us. Time for some cold steel, it's the Brotherhood Special Ops suit and mask. These can both be obtained from Daily Ops. These are among the more uncommon rewards from this event, but as I have no intention of doing Daily Ops until they introduce another game mode for us, truly gone fishing, it's the Brown Fisherman's overalls. And for these, yup, you guessed it. This happily will be the last of our trips to White Springs for this video. But sadly this will be the last outfit to feature in this video. I don't want it turning into a 45 minute video and we do have a lot to get for it. So all it remains for me to do is thank you for watching and let you know that I will be back in the future with much more Fallout 76 content. As well as this series covering all of the outfits and accessories in the game, I also have with the help of a few talented friends some music parody videos in the works. Keep your eyes peeled for these. If you've enjoyed this video, I'll be making many more like it. So smash the like button and subscribe. And I'll be back real soon, making sure you regret reading the definition of the word elocution. Once again, a massive thank you to everyone who's clicked on this video. 
hope to see you in the future rustic out This favour, shut the door on your way out.